been so unfair to me Life has treated me with so much unkindness But deep in my heart I do believe You are bringing food in your system the food is tasty. Mom, what do you take me for? A toddler. <laughs> or you probably thought I'm still that small girl, yeah? Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's get this right. The handbag prepared this meal. Yes. Oh my god. What? I thought it was a house help. Handbag cooked this meal? What? Oh, this is. How come I. Ah, I've been finished since I started. Oh my god. I'm on the. Mama been poisoned in my own house. <laughs> Call the doctor. Oh, Christ. What is that? Somebody has poisoned me. And <laughs> don't mind him, he's enjoying the milk. How can you have left him back to for Christ? Okay, give me my food. Give me my food. Wait, I'm. Mom, actually, give me my food. Okay, give me my food. Wait, wait, wait. You don't like the food. Oh, I didn't say I didn't like the food. Maybe she's improved a little. Hey, stop grooming, alright? I said you can cook, but I didn't say the food was good. Don't cook. Mm. Anyway, mom, I miss dad. When is dad coming back from Canada? Very soon. Oh, you have a phone. Call me. Okay, don't worry. Hey. Dad should come back. Yeah, hey, dad should come back. You know you're watching your waist. Bring this food. You can. Oh, I, 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 I can't come back. You can't work out this food. I miss Stop. all of you, yes. Daddy, we miss you. Oh, I miss you too. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> I'm back now. Uh, that's good. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Oh, you are blessed. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. <laughs> <laughs> what kept you so long? Oh, well, um, I have to go hang out with my friends after the office hours. I'll see you tomorrow, Mom. Come on, come on, come on, my love. I should have by listen to me. You have to be very careful and come home earlier. The country is not safe. Security wise. It's okay, Mom. I've heard. Save the sessions for you, okay? I'm a big boy now. Definitely, you're a big boy. But still, be careful. Be okay. careful. All right. I've heard you, Mom, okay? Tomorrow. Okay. Obina. Come. Let me just you. No, Mom. I'm really tired now, okay? Now. Guess what? What? Her name is back. I'm open and you need to see her. She's more prettier than ever. And I expect she's as arrogant as ever. Mom, that girl said I should discard my friends. I told you that. Well, that is expected of her. She's just trying to learn her ways. Yes. Cut the crap, Mom. Ujo and I lived in America too for several years. Helen's just been myopic. Stop making excuses for her. Then why did you try to teach her? Look, I don't know about all that. No, look, I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying if she has to be my wife, she has to learn manners. Besides, she's too old to be taught how to behave. Obina, why are you talking like this? Look, your dad, Chief Umba, are working 
seriously planning for your marriage towards this girl. I don't just sit down and talk anyhow. It's okay, mom. It's all right. Look, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay, I've heard you. I'm just saying the right decision will be taken at the right time. Okay? Now, nah, mother, I'm really beat. I've had a long day at the office. I need to rest. Please? Hmm? I think you should get some rest yourself. You look tired. Good night, mother. Enjoying this meal. <laughs> That's wonderful. Mm. Thank you very much, Steve. Oh, my God. Spiat, you're not enjoying the meal. Enjoying this? Hell no. Sorry, did you have some chicken and french fries or something? Mm. Staying down with this mm. stuff really makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Um, baby, well, this is Nigeria, and it's better to start getting used to African dishes. Oh, yes, yes. Ever since she came back, she hardly takes any African dish. Mm. Yeah. So you must have been facing some difficulties in getting her meal over here. Every minute, Caesar's rushing down to Sheraton, Mr. Biggs to source for a meal. <laughs> Quite expensive. And time consuming too, madam. Actually, we are trying to get uh, my continental chef to take care of our meals. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, what an expensive wife you are about to have. But I know you will cope. You're a very hardworking man. Okay. Yeah, tell me about it, Dad. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Could the air conditioner in this room be increased a bit higher? You want it increased? Mm-hmm. It's quite hot in here. Well, it's all right. It's all right. I will get the house help to increase it. Thank you. Yes. Boy, well, the air condition is quite perfect enough, darling. Yeah, it's just fine. I mean, wh why do we have to increase it just because she said so? Is she the only one here? Your case is, right? Yes. All right, Obina, you see. Uh, she will get used to it. It's all right. I remember she just came down. Yes. yes. So what? We've been there before too. I'll, I'll just probably save you the pain and just use the one in the car. All right. Have a nice time there too. Keep moving, girl. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You see, Obi, just me. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you know, they're, they're kids. They know how they do their thing. Oh, um, Amira, excuse me. I, um, you know, I was um, uh, browsing through here, apparently, and I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, well, I, I can't seem to be of much service to myself. I'm, I'm trying to find a, a proper card for somebody. So I was wondering if you could help me out. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Thank you. What kind of card, and that depends on who you're sending the card to. Oh, yeah. I, my, it's my baby sister's birthday, so I need to find something really unique for her. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's see that one there would be nice. Yeah. Hey, 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 you got great taste. I mean, I'm handbag is sure going trip for this one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The card is um, as beautiful as you. <laughs> you know, um... Mary, I've been coming here for quite a while now, and I know this might not be the proper time, but I was wondering if I, I could, 
ask you a personal favor, maybe go if you could find some time to go out on a uh, you know, dinner with me or something. I'm sorry, I don't have dates with strangers. Okay. Um, maybe I'm not a stranger anymore. Yeah, I've been coming here for like four months now. Besides, I we've discussed everything under the sun. Uh, well, I know we've not discussed anything personal. I want us to discuss something else, apart from regular stuff. You know, just you and me. As you can see, my boss is around, and and I've got a lot of things to do. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can appreciate that fact. But look, I just want you to go out with me on this date. Look, I, I'm not going to try nothing. Cross my heart. And I know it's not going to be possible today, so, so how about tomorrow? I know when you close from work, I'll just come back over there. When you're done with work, you come and I'm go. Come on. Uh, well, um, I think you've, you've not paid your bills. Oh, oh, come on, that's the least of the problem here, okay? And I also take that to be a yes. So how much is that? It's just one thousand. Just one thousand, right? Yeah. Have a nice day, Mary. You too. Stay beautiful. Can't you guys just mind your own business? Would you look like an angel? Well, can I call you an angel, please? Please? If only you would treat me like the angel. Done. It's a deal. <laughs> you know, I feel supreme when I'm close to you. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Tell me anything, I'll listen. Okay? <laughs> um, really, I don't know where to start from. Really, I don't. My story is quite sad. I... Start from anywhere. I lost my father so many years ago when I was barely able to make out what he really looks like. And my mother was left with the task of bringing me up like every other normal kid on the street. But unfortunately for me, he, she also joined my dad three years ago and I was left to my fate. My dad's younger sister took me and saw me through secondary school. But as fate will have it, she lost her husband just three months ago. I didn't really want to bother her much after my secondary school. I had to apply as a shop attendant when you eventually met me. But each day passes by with pain and fears of the unknown. My mother's wish and dream for me has ever led me for me to go through school, have best of education and finish up as a lawyer but those dreams and hopes we are sharing with it's her. Okay. Now listen, look at me. We're destined to be together. You understand? You're something special. So, I'm going to make a proposition for you. Now, I want you to give me the chance. In fact, I want the honor to see you through your education, see you through your dreams to be a lawyer, okay? I will not allow your dream die or be buried with your mother. Hmm? Maybe he don't understand. Say, look, I don't want to put you or anyone through the stress of seeing me to the university. I love hey, you, but... Now listen, I love you. Do you understand that? I've always felt incomplete until I met you. you understand? Obi, I can't believe this is happening to me. I can't believe you're saying this to me, isn't it? I'm talking to you, Angel. Oh. Hey, 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 it's me. Look at me.
What's up? Oh god. Haven't you heard of three being a crowd? Okay, yeah, yeah, I called you, I remember. Your kid sister? Mm-hmm. Oh, so hey, um Meet my heart throb. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> this is Mary. Mary, I want you to meet my handbag. Hi. Would you? Nice meeting you. Pleasure. Got a cute sister here. Oh, thank you. you. I have not noticed the cuteness. Um, that's Obi. Mm -hmm. She's really fine. Hey, what do you think, girl? <laughs> I mean, your brother's got eyes for the best. Mm, yeah, right. Anyway, are you going to come for my party on Saturday? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, no. Why? Come on, girl. Yes. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, Big Bros, where's my ice cream now? Which ice cream? I thought you were supposed to be watching your way here. Oh, uh, uh, she needs it. You take ice cream, so she needs it too. Uh, please do. Buy my ice cream for me. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get it, huh? Okay, okay, you know what? Come on, girl. I'll get the ice cream. Let's get out of here, girl. Damn. Such a sweet girl. Yeah, sweet. I will do anything for your woman. I will go anywhere to the storm, to the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be with you. For your love, for your love. Oh, oh. I will do anything for your woman. I don't care to say you have nothing, but I love you all the same. It doesn't matter what the people may say, it doesn't matter what the people may do. I want you to know that I love you all the same. Let my mother and my father reject me, let my brothers and my sisters disown me. As long as I have you, my joy is complete. Oh, oh, oh my. What the hell did you keep me waiting for two hours for? I had a couple of conferences at the office. I was extremely busy. Okay. Man, quit lying. Why aren't you home? Why didn't you call? Look, Helen, like I said, it's been a really, really crazy day at the office. Look at me a bit. Don't stress me, okay? Stress you? Obi, we are supposed to be spending time together. I came all the way down to Nigeria specifically for our wedding. And you know it. You know what beats me? Now how can a mind as enlightened, as cultured as yours be so myopic? It's, it's baffling here. No, here. I'm sorry. No offense meant, okay? But haven't you thought of the fact that I mean, it's, it's outrageous our parents should wake up and, and engage both of us just out of the blues like that. Haven't you thought it possible that this kind of love builds over time? 20 years, OB, is over time, okay? I mean, we have matured to the stage of marriage, okay? What, it, what, you don't want me anymore? Is that it? What about the times we spent together? The nights we spent together. You wanted me then, Obi. Oh yes, you did. You know, now is a good a time as any to get this out in the open. Okay? Now listen. Girlfriend, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a man now. 28. Okay, look. All that childish tendencies, the crush, the wild time we had together, it's in the past. Look at me, I'm a man. I have my own life, my own style, my own thought processes, so do you. We live in two different worlds now. And we can't just wake up and say we, we, we are a party to get the kind of arrangements our parents are putting together. You're far, far cultured than that. No, 
what I really need is it's time. Time to, to go see other people, to, to experiment with life. Other people? Other people, Obi. Is there someone else? There you go again. You're being exactly conclusive, the typical Helen. That's not it. I'm just saying we need to experiment because we're young and we need that kind of chance. I will not be ensnared into a marriage that after a couple of years I know I, I get miserable and I want to get divorced. I don't want that kind of life for myself. I don't know about you. It's not right. Think about it. I'm trying to understand. Okay. Well, obviously, you're not trying hard enough, girl. You're young, you're beautiful, you're cultured, you're rich. Why don't you go out there and find yourself another man? Why me? I already chose my man. And that's the problem. You choose. Now nobody chooses me. I make my own choice. And if I say I have a problem with you, it stays that way. You don't go out there and choose a man, Helen. You find one and love him and make sure he loves you back. It's a problem here. Now I've made it clear, I'm going home. I'm really tired, okay? Think about what I said, okay? Come on, take care of yourself. When you calm down, okay? Just calm down. Hmm? I swear, Mom, if he goes on like this, I'd have to go back to the States. Come on, don't talk like this. We all know that Obina is your husband. Even his parents have a shadows of that. I'm sure he loves you, okay? Okay. Mom, I went to see him in his office. His secretary told me he was too busy to see me, okay? She kept me there for practically over 30 minutes or something. Well, I got tired of waiting and barged into his office. And oh my God, he was just sitting right there doing absolutely nothing, okay? The worst part is, he screwed at me and asked me why I had to badge into his office like that. Really? How come? God, I have never been so humiliated in my whole life. God, don't worry, okay? Hmm? You're not kidding me, are you? Mummy, what, I'm supposed to lie about this now? He hardly ever touches me. He doesn't kiss me. No nice words. <sighs> Don't worry. Everything will be brought under control, okay? I bet he's seen some chip dirty bitch somewhere. Well, he better not let me catch him, because I'll shoot the bastard. I promise. Ah. Welcome, honey. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How was the day? Okay. Angel, Hi, what's wrong with my angel? What's wrong with my angel? Darling, you have to talk to the Ojimbats. Eh? I won't take her to any bastard on selling my daughter's emotion. They should be proud to have my daughter as their wife. I mean, they should be honored. Of course they do. <laughs> hmm. Honey, if this nonsense doesn't stop, I'll do nothing. I'll just have to call off the relationship. No, you don't have to. They are just getting to know themselves. You know, they are kids, huh? Honey, talk to Daddy. Come on. Daddy's all out to protect you. Come on. Daddy, Obi doesn't love me. No. He stands me up on dates. He screams at me and... I don't know, he's becoming too rigid for my liking, that's so. all. He stood you up on dates? Yes. Can you imagine that? What Arant nonsense, eh? It's okay. Hmm? It will not repeat itself again. Hmm? Come on, give Daddy that sweet smile again. Come on. Come on, be a good girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Darling, you have to make him understand that the president's son is out to give out his right age just to marry my daughter. Of course they know that. Huh? So I won't take her to any... I don't know, I don't know. No, it's okay, it's okay, huh? it's okay. Yes? Uh, is that Chief Ojimba? Uh, 
Uh, yes, you see, we've been friends for over 20 years running now. You cannot remember we having squabble over any issue all these years, do you? I want you to call your son. Call him. Talk to him the way he has to understand. I won't take kindly to any complaints from my daughter again. Yes. My daughter is too precious to be treated like nobody. You have to let him know this. Tell this to him. Is that okay? Good day, Chivojemba. Oh my God. Can you imagine? How can he be so stupid? I can see that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that was so bad. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I pity you. Honestly. Just a pity on you, you know. <clears throat> I think, I think it's not fair somehow, it's, it's, it's old fashioned, I mean, gone are the days when parents choose husband or wife for their children, it's not obtainable this time. Yeah well, for me it's not a case of being old fashioned anymore, it's a case of being a constant pain in the ass. See you know what, I think the last thing I'll ever allow my parents to do is force a girl of their own choice on me, man it's not possible with me, not at my age. No way! Now that's conjunct reason for trying to get me to marry that nitwit is that I mean once a case he can cement his relationship with that crazy father of hers. Can you beat that? Oh boy, that's bullshit. I don't think it's fair enough. Yeah, huh? you tell me about it, man. I believe you're not gonna accept that. Mm -mm. <laughs> no way. Well, well, well. What's well, okay though? I don't understand that he's even beginning to employ new tactics these days. What? The man threatened to disown me every time I have an argument with him. What? For real? That's, that's unfair. You talk about being unfair. But for me, he, he doesn't understand it. Like Mary is like the air I breathe, you understand? Sure, I do. No, she, she's out of this world. I mean, look, Negro, check, check the resume. The girl is beautiful. She's sensitive. I mean, behind closed doors. Ow! That female is the bomb, man! Ouch! <laughs> man! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know. But I, I understand she, I learned she's a dropout. Is it true? Yeah, yeah but I've taken care of that. You know, she, she I enrolled her for a part-time course in Unilag. She studied international law. And she's doing beautiful. Man, it's good. Yeah. Big rest. Hey. Hey, hey would you love you? I'm off to the gym. Are you game? Nope. Not with you. Anyway, Saturday is my party. I hope you've not forgotten. How can I? And um, I need to shed some weight off, you know. Keep fit. Yeah. We've heard all that before. Then right after that, you can go back to consuming buckets of ice cream and chocolates. Get serious, fool. Please, can I have your car keys? You seen car keys? <laughs> the answer is no. Okay? Uh, uh... Press OB. Remember I'm your kid sister, your handbag. Now, I'm going to let you use the car on two conditions. What? One, no in the world I'm going to let you go close to my BMW. Not the Beamer girl, go for bead. I'll give you the key to that fucked up old um, Peugeot that I used to hustle, you know? Why? It's the repping now. The rep <laughs> what? Look at this kid. <laughs> hey, hey, let's check this out. One girl, your ass is broke. Two, you're my handbag. Three, you ain't got no car. And four, man, you ain't even got no rap, girl. It's alright with you. Don't worry, okay? I'll be your new driving teacher. Uh, that'll be nice of you. Okay, Boras, you're a darling. Yeah, I'm always a darling when you need to use Bye. me. Bye. <laughs> your kid sister is nice to be with. Yeah, you know yeah. That? And nigga, so, quit looking at my sister like Hey, I'm take it easy. Yeah, you can't you jump or lie on or whatever they call you, I'll, I'll castrate you, okay? Hey, everybody like angels, okay? My parents are no exception. Come sit down. Come on, sweetie. That is okay.
young woman. Sir. What did you say your name was? Mary, sir. Mary Obuso. From which tribe? Are you deaf? So which tribe? Delta Ma. Isolu could to be precise. Who are your parents? Uh, the occupation and where do they live? Um, my, my, my father, actually my father. Ha! What are you saying? Talk louder. You can't be singing or mumbling or whispering. We want to hear you loud and clear. My, my father was a school teacher before he died some 19 years back. And my mother a petty trader. And she also died three, three years back. So you're an orphan? Yes, sir. But I'm staying with my auntie, my father's sister. Who is this auntie of yours? Uh, she's a petty trader. And we, we, she's my father's sister. We stay at Kirikiri, Olodia Kiri, Papa. You mean Ajogune? Mom. Hello. Ajogune is Ajogune. Our papa is our papa. We do know. Mom, we we'll get the picture, okay? So I cannot talk. You just a wife from me, stop talk. We shouldn't ask questions. I was just marrying off like that. You are not. Dad, I refuse to let you drag my name to the mud. And young woman, I don't want to embarrass you. And son, I advise you not to rely so much on your position as my first and only son in this family. Is that clear? Young lady, in case that's not good, he's engaged. What? For a dream. And it's a pity a dreamer never gets there. A bloody gold digger. <laughs> he is not your ticket out of poverty. But I know that now. So go out and look for your Size. Excuse me, ma. Look, 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 wait, ma'am. Look, understand this, both of you. If anything happens to that girl, come back here. Come back here. We'll be back. Call your brother back. Get out of this place. Come call your brother. Nonsense. Call him to come back right here. Mom, but you're not supposed to embarrass her like that. Mama, you're not supposed to embarrass her Yes, Robina, I gave you the opportunity to show us the girl you prefer to marry. But you came up with a poverty student girl with no reasonable background. What is the real problem? No, you are telling me anything. Okay, okay, let's understand this. Is it the girl or the background? Look, what are we talking about here? Is it that a man of brat you want me to get married to that is better? Let me tell you, compared to that girl, this one is a gym. And like I said before, here's rule if I don't marry that girl. You're also branded by class. You don't even give a damn about my happiness. Obina. Obina, be careful. And be mindful of how you talk to your father these days. You are a son. We will always tell you the truth. Obina, the area that girl comes from, Aolosu, outcast. Nobody marries from there. And obviously not my son. No. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Is it true? Very true. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Obina? Obina, please don't kill me. Obina, don't kill me. Don't you think you're being too harsh on him? I am not. I'm trying to put him right. He should open his eyes. You to go in and explain to him. Talk to him, he's your brother. I know I don't have a weak husband. I know you can do this if you want to. See, Emily, I am doing something. I have told him I don't want to talk about that girl again. And I've also told him that I don't want to see that girl again. I hate you. But you're just trying. It's not enough. I want to see it. I am doing something. Do so and I will see to it that he doesn't marry that stupid girl. My own outcast. Auntie God knows I love him now. I truly love him. But 
the embarrassment his parents gave me was just too much for me. <laughs> I mean, the mother went outside. The mother went as far as calling me a gold digger. It was too humiliating. <laughs> Mary. Too humiliating. Look, it's useless crying over this. It's only natural for parents to be skeptical about their children's choice of spouse. I experienced it myself. Look, before I married my late husband, I went through hell. I went through a series of embarrassments. From his people, of course. And I came to realize that it's only natural. Especially with the rich. Once the girl in question is from an average home, they just believe she's a gold digger. That she's out to reap where she has not sown. Hmm? But what did Obina say concerning this? He tried to stop them from embarrassing me, but everything turned out into a shouting match. Why would anyone believe that I'm just off to Obina's money and not his feelings? <laughs> I wouldn't have been more sure, Auntie. I love you really now. Oh, darling, it's okay. I know. Eh? I just told you, it's only natural. As long as the love for each other is intact, with time they will warm up to you. They will come to realize that you are a wonderful child. Hmm? So don't worry yourself. I know you love Obina. And I'm very sure that he loves you too. So come on, give me a smile. Okay? Come on. Let's get something to eat. Do get I really up. feel like? Ah, don't give me that. Don't. I know you've not had anything since morning. Have you? Get up. Hmm? Auntie, you're so wonderful. I would have done without you. Oh, come off it, eh? You know you are my responsibility and I love you. Come, let's get something to eat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, my daughter. Happy birthday to you. Have fun, then. Have fun. Are you sure? Oh, what's up, baby? Oh, to the beat of the highest in the house. Ah, yeah, hey, hey, hey. So you guys are going to go. Yeah, I'm going to my handbag. Then you look back, then look at Are you so dead? You should wear all this open. Then you should hide it, girl. God damn it. What's the thing? Is that right? Alright, that's why I'm going to meet the big man later. Hey, hey, go come over here, Angel. Why don't you take this, okay? And uh, let me go up there, you know what I'm saying? I know you like a serve. Hey, why don't you go get something for my Angel to eat? Come on. Mm, angel. angel, or your hoe. Excuse me? You heard me, bitch. So who is she? Uh, what is this? Oh, why don't you run along and go play with yourself or something? Get out of here, will you? Come on, baby. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here before I whoop it for you, you scumbag. What's a stress? Don't hear you. What's wrong with you? Are you hiding some kind of grass or something? Uh, get your booty out of here, man. Get out of here, woman. Come on, baby. 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 Come
tell this son of a bitch to get this cheap ass hoe out of here before somebody gets hurt? You slut. You tell one you never to step your foot to my house again. Now, get out. Look, mom, what is this, eh? Why are you embarrassing her like this? Why are you have to get her like that? Why are you talking about this? Look, I told you to get out of here. Look, I told you to get out of here. Look, I told you to get out of here. Look, I told you to get out of here. Send me gray hairs about teddy bears. So how much this? Three thousand, sir. Three thousand, three thousand. Okay, that's it. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day, sir. You too, huh? All right. Hi, Mary. Mary. <laughs> how is it with you? Fine. Where are you coming from? Home. Home? Yes. Oh, no problem. Ah, no problem. Mm. How is everyone at home? They're all fine. Bad, oh, everyone really? is fine. And Mary, I came to apologize for what happened yesterday. It was quite an ugly one. I wish I could help. Come on, Oju. You see, what happened yesterday would have happened to any other person. I didn't really attach much to it. And um, besides, it wasn't your fault, okay? I I'm know. Sorry. What if I hadn't insisted that you come for my party? You would have been embarrassed by my parents, mom particularly. Okay. What mom did was quite natural. I mean, any mother would have reacted the same way to over her only son, okay? I'm just sorry to... I can't seem to figure out why they won't allow things run its own course. Plus, Obi loves you and so do I. You're such a nice person. <laughs> I hate my parents for their egocentric <laughs> nature. <laughs> Would you stop that? They're your parents, remember? You see, I would rather apologize for wrecking your bed party, okay? I'm really sorry. Well, I invited you, remember? <laughs> I know, Uju. Okay? Okay. How is Obi? That one. Hmm. He has isolated himself from the family. He refused to talk to anybody. He doesn't eat. I don't know what's wrong with him. What is the matter with you? What are you doing to yourself? You have refused to talk to me. You have refused to eat. You have refused to converse with anybody in the house. What is the matter with you? All because we mean well for you. You are now our enemy. Oh, because we mean the best, we want the best, we want the best for you. Ebina. Look, Mama, I don't know what you want. I just want to be left alone. You said to bring a girl home. I brought that girl home. Right in my face, you guys embarrassed the hell out of that girl. Look. I just want to be left alone in my miserable world, all by my miserable self. I can't handle any more misery. Leave me alone. You can open your mouth and tell me you are miserable. Or because I don't want to, to get married to an Usu, or to a bloody gold digger. But she is not a gold digger. I'm experienced enough to know one. What has she done to you? What has she done to you? 
Because she has not cast any spell on you. And let me tell you, she has failed. She has failed absolutely. What do you want people to say when they hear you getting married to a woman that has no background? For Christ's sake, do hell with people. Do hell with people, mom. Don't you get it? Look, I didn't acquire all this education, all these travels, just so that I would give a damn about what people say. I'm not a conformist. You worry about what people say. Look, I remember, you ain't always rich. You were poor before, mom. You were broke ass. Yeah, I remember I still have the pictures. You used to tell me stories of how poor you were. So how come you're telling me that I can't marry a punk just because she's poor? She's just some kind of subhuman. Look, even if you don't like a personality or something, I could beef it up. That's why I traveled. That, that's why I had all that, all that education. Oh, uh, yes. Obi now. Oh, shit. Your mother complained that you refused to eat or do anything in the house, except lock yourself in the room. May I know why? Well, um, once in a while when a man is doing normal things and he's not walking out, he tries some strange things. Strange things indeed. Now tell me, son, has my son's decision to do some strange things got anything to do with that daughter of a nobody he wishes to marry? All that is inconsequential now. I just want to be left alone. I just want to know why you guys are bothering me now. Please, leave me alone. Obina, you are my first and only son. Myself and your mother here have stopped at nothing in providing you and your sister with all you wanted. You had your first and second degree abroad. But for just love for Nigeria, that is why she's here. But we have planned that her higher institution will be abroad. I have given you people all you needed. I've made you an envy of all kids. Son, I am prepared to die than see my own children live in abject poverty. I did not have the privilege of basking in affluence like you kids. So why can't you appreciate all that by at least listening to us, doing what we wish you to do? Why can't you do that for us, son? Well, look, it's not as if I don't appreciate what uh, you guys have done for me. Okay, I, I appreciate it. It's not, it's, the, the thing is simple. And, and I, 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 I don't want to make it look like you've not gone to a outlandish extents to make you draw and I comfortable. I know all that. But I need to understand this. It's a picture I'm painting. And, and you don't understand. You've always understood me, Dad. We've always talked. You, you too, Mom. What, why, is, why is all that changing now? Look, you want to marry that girl? Dad, you're not blind. You know what I'm saying. The same for you, Mom. You, you know what is the matter here? Helen Mba is not anybody any man would want to marry. She's selfish. She's spoiled. She's downright rude. And, and she's somebody that no man can call a wife material. Now you want me to get married to her. Then after that, I'll go have mistresses everywhere. And then the inevitable co co confrontation you're avoiding by not marrying her in the first place will come with her father. It's unavoidable. I will not marry and say I don't love my wife enough and go and divorce later. Try to understand what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm screaming for someone to hear me here. Are you aware that I'm eyeing the gubernatorial seat? I mean, have you ever thought of that? Yeah, well, you told me when you came to visit me in New York, you want to be a governor. But what I don't understand right now is what has that got to do with Mary? A lot. Open A lot. Hey, Amelia, relax. <gasps> I will tell you what it has got to do with Mary. <laughs> well, you are aware that uh, Chief Mba is the special advisor to the governor. I want to remind you again. Our decision to get you and Helen married as husband and wife started in the early days of our relationship by way of business partnership. It was just a joke, but uh, as time progressed, we realized that it's realizable. At least it will mark the bond between us. 
Now my son wants me to go back to Chief Mba and uh, tell him that my son has seen a, a girl he loves, somebody very beautiful to marry. How do you think Chief Mba will feel? Don't you think that will jeopardize my chances of realizing my long-standing ambition of becoming the governor? Or worse still, launch a strong opposition against me? Don't you think so, son? Well, on that account, Dad, I think you're wrong on three accounts. Yeah. But firstly, if you think um, getting married to Helen is going to guarantee you a seat with the governor, uh, to be a governor, that's wrong. Chief Mba is not, kind of, not that kind of kingmaker. He's making empty promises, Dad. And then secondly, the people, the people count. That's what I know. That's why it's called democracy. If the people want you, they will have you. You will win if the people want you. It's not Chief Mba that will make you win. You shut up, your man. Keep quiet. I am giving you 14 days to think about it. Marry Helen Mba and inherit all my vast companies, lands and properties, or lose all. That I'm paramount. I'm your son, all right? Chief Mba is just your friend. Think about your son. Obina, yeah. Obina, Obina. You want to deceive what it was, sir? Because of one stupid one, good for nothing girl? Obina! Open your eyes and see! Stop yelling, mom. Stop yelling at me. You're not listening well. I'm telling you again. This miserable good for nothing girl is my life now, mom. I don't think you get it. You better follow that and tell him the truth. The truth is that I'm prepared to disown all of you if I don't marry that girl. So get into your head now. I'm good. What have I done? What does that mean to me? God help me. What has she done to my son? What? Amina! Ever since Helen got back from the States, he seemed to have gotten worse. Specifically, my mother. I don't know why she's so hell bent on me marrying that girl. That is it. That is it, Obina. How could she have asked you to get more serious if there hadn't been any commitment? Obina, you've been deceiving me. How could you have done such to me? I, 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 I didn't know. Look. I. If I had any ulterior motive, all right? Now, why would I invite you home to, to, to dinner with my parents to tell them that it's you I want to get married to? Okay, how about, how about you juice party? I'm not clairvoyant. How am I supposed to know how I was going to break loose? Explaining all this. It is very clear that your parents don't want me as a daughter-in-law. And I can't be a party to a man who is so biased. You've not been fair to me. I, I, I don't understand why you're saying all this. Dad gave me 14 days to, to marry her when he's going to disown me. And, and I'm prepared to get disowned if it means living the rest of my life with you. Angel, I love you. I, I can't think about any other thing but, but you, okay? I'm going crazy. Please don't do this to me now. I hope you're not listening. I love you very much. I like you deeply, but just look at me. I think it would be better if we pretend we never met. And better still, let's give ourselves a break. It would do me a lot of good, Obina. Okay. I mean, I've given up everything for you. I am prepared to disown my own family just to be with you. And now that I need you more than anything, you're turning your back on me. Tell me, what more kind of sacrifice do you want from me? Angel, Angel, please. Angel, please. I love you. You can go. Now you can go, okay? I've had enough pains. Just leave me alone and go, okay? I, I have nothing left. I have nowhere to go. Please, don't do it.
do this to me, please. In God's name. Abina, okay, go. Go, please. Please go. Okay. Um. Before I go, I, I just want you to know that I'm going to love you forever. And go, please. For your love, mm, I want to manifest. Yeah. For your work, oh, I will do anything. Yeah. Through the storm, through the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be with you. For your love, for your love, oh, oh, I want to manifest. For your work, yeah. I will do anything. Where are you going to? Well, um, <clears throat> I'm going to Jago's place for a short visit. Oh, come on, press Obi. You hardly talk to anyone these days. You don't even ask of me. I understand that it's been nasty, but please, don't take it too hard on yourself. Look, it's okay. It's just that I'm not happy here, baby. I need to go somewhere where I can sort my feelings out, where I can think. I you know life here is unbearable these days, eh? Anyway... Promise to take care of yourself for me. Nah, I'll miss you. Okay. I'll miss your handbag. I'll miss you too. Okay. Don't go see me now. Baby, don't forget. Okay. Don't tell her, but I'll miss you, baby. For your love, mm, I want to manifest. Yeah. For your work, oh my, I will go anywhere. Through the storm, through the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be. For your love, oh, oh, I want to make anything for your morning anyway. <laughs> now, listen up, you cheap, dirty asshole. You probably got your brains in your ass or something, but it's all good. I don't care. Just stay away from my man, okay? Obi is my man. Go find yourself some other gold mine to dig from, scumbag. Excuse me, young lady. I don't think I have any problem with you. Obi and I love each other. And if you have a problem with that, then you go jump into the lake. Is that clear? Yeah. Pussy got close. Anyway, we'll see who gets into the lake first, bitch. Listen, if you think you have everything it takes to get him, and he's coming after a church right like me, then you go check yourself up. Rubbish. Your mama. It's all good, bring it on. Watch your back, bitch. Is it a crime to be poor? Is it a sin to be an orphan? Life has not been so fair to me. Don't talk like that. Honey, Life don't talk like that so again. Fair. You are precious. It's, it's a pity that Obina's parents are self-centered. They've refused to see beyond their nose. I try as much as possible not to think of Obina. But each time I try hard, I fall for him. My spirit yearns for Obina. My soul thirsts for him. For five days now, I've not set my eyes on him. It's not fair. <laughs> life is not just being fair. My life is empty without him. I feel so empty. <sighs> oh God. Lord, why me? <laughs> why me? <laughs> why me? <laughs> I feel so much pain. <laughs> Hi, so. so, you're not looking too pleasant. Sorry, man. I don't know you guys. Hey, come on. You look like someone I know from somewhere. Mary is your name, right? Sorry, man. Hello?
Come on, listen to me, Obi. I don't like what you're doing to yourself, man. You want to kill yourself because of some girl? You want to die because of Mary? Okay, we've been to her house and the auntie told us she's not there. We've gone to the campus, we've gone to her working place, we can't find her. Listen, don't you think she's avoiding you? What makes you think she cares? See, Obi, you're going to think and you've got to be reasonable. I mean, I want you to forget this girl. No! No fucking way! And then she... Don't you ever, don't you ever show me that kind of a film again. I'm fucking over here, okay? Ever. And sometimes all the nights can be so long. You've never been in love with a woman before. Come on, stop saying that. Oh. Can I expect you to understand? While she lays dreaming. The, the, the pain. I try to get it hurts, man. Uh, it, it hurts he, right here. It hurts. You just keep hurting and hurting and hurting. You get to a point you don't want to hurt no more. You, you don't even give a shit anymore. You don't hurt. Uh, and she believes in me. That girl, that girl who's the key to my hurt, to my soul, to my happiness, to everything. Everything. If I don't have marriage. She goes blank, you know what I'm saying? Everything goes blank. Nothing exists anymore. I, I fucking don't want to leave in the pit. We can't find her. We've looked for her, but we can't find her. So what do you want? You know, I want Mary back. You know, I don't even give a damn. If I leave or die, I don't give a damn anymore. Then I see shit, man. I don't like what you're doing to yourself. You want to kill yourself because of some girl? Just this is wait bad. For me You've got to be reasonable, boy. Think. Secret friend. Oh, uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck all you. I don't even care anymore if I will even die. Yeah. Give my drink back. No! Give my drink back! Give my god a drink back! To see her. We turned down to a beast. <laughs> no right man in his right sense. We'll go for her. Ah. Baby girl, can we have our dough? I guess so. It's about time. In. Nice work. Who? Cool. Anytime, any day, baby girl. We got your back. Whenever. <laughs> Baby's not bad. Baby's not bad, man. I'm like, you know your size. Watch your pretty go key. You see this guy. Man, you don't go look past your eyes. Man. Oh, yeah. My jam, chief. Hello? 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 Is anybody home? Mary? Hello? 
You Please. again? What do you want here? What are you doing here? I, I know your parents are very rich. And Mary, she's just a poor orphan. So please leave her alone. I only thank God that you people did not kill her for me. Just go. Get out and go. Auntie, you have every right to be upset. Madam, what was the aggression for? I, I just want to see Mary. Like you don't know. Somebody attacked her with an acid yesterday. Acid? But who, who could have done something like that? Uh, where is she? She okay? Of course she's okay. Very okay. With half of her face burnt. She's okay. All thanks to you. Just look at me, okay? I, I couldn't have done anything like that. I love that girl. I, I love her more than my, my own life. And my father has threatened to disown me if I go ahead and marry Mary, but I don't really care. If, if having Mary means losing my inheritance, I still consider it a very small price to pay. You're angry, but let's be logical. My baby's somewhere suffering and she needs me. Please, take me to the hospital. Please. Okay. I'll take you there. But I just hope I'm doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Believe me. Let me get my bag. Please hurry, Auntie, yeah, hurry. For your love, I will do anything. Yeah. For your heart, woman, I will go anywhere. Through the storm, through the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be with you. For your love, for your love, oh, oh, I will do anything. anything. For your heart, anywhere, I will go anywhere. Through the storm. Through the storm, through the fire, through the fire, anything just. Oh, yeah. Good God! 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 Who did this to her? God! They did this to you! They did this figure that just because of me! Listen, Obina. I think it's high time we call it a quit, okay? I'm scared of my life and I don't want. I wonder how many much attacks awaits me, okay? Don't, don't talk like this, okay? Please don't talk like this. I'm suffering too. Look, you're going to be okay. I don't understand. How bad is the bones? Well, the doctor said she'll be fine. I'm taking responsibility of every bill she incurs here. I think there's some kind of corrective. Surgery, they have to perform or something. You can't just burn or no burn. I'm going to stay by you through this. We'll see you through together, okay? I'm really getting tired of all this happening in this country. The so called rich pushing around the small ones. Look, I don't want any more attack on my girl. She's all that I have. And she's the only survivor of her late parents. Who is this young man? His name is Obina, Chief Ojimba's son. So you are the one causing these attacks on my late brother's daughter, eh? Listen, young man. I don't want to know who you are, or what you are, or where you came from. I want you right from this moment to stay away from her. Don't you even near her. Don't you even breathe whenever you see her. Do you understand my language? I, I do. Now, see, sir, I'm not responsible for this. I, I'm, I'm not aware of it. Please just give me a chance to show you how, how, how much I love Mary. I'm, I'm Young man, I am losing my patience. If I lose my temper, I'm going to throw you out of this place. Will you leave this moment? Now! Okay, I'll go. Just give me a chance to pay the hospital bill, please, sir. I'm no not. way, young man. We don't need your ill-gotten money. You can give it to the beggars. Get out! Yes, sir. Thank you, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, what's up? 
Look, don't haunt me. Why are you crazy? You hear watching TV and you nearly maimed the girl out there with acid. What the hell is the matter with that? You deranged. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? What I'm talking about? Look, you crazy. What the hell is the matter with you? Look, do I look like I'm the only man out there? Why don't you go out and get one of your brats or something? Look, I've made it like you. You don't have to go oh, around like cut that! The shut up, man. Cut the bullshit out, Obi. Listen, if I don't have you, nobody else will. Especially not that brat. Well, I don't think you got it. You are the bitch. And man, I don't want you! Ugh. So you call me a bitch. That whore you got there calling your love is a bigger bitch. And I will slap you again too. Fine! Cut! Stop a bit! 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 Stop you see? <laughs> Darling, I'm so sorry. Sorry. You beat me! <laughs> Anytime I see you, I always give God the glory. You are beautiful. Thank you. Now tell me something. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not really. <laughs> not really? Are you sure? Yes, I just have a friend. You see? You see what has happened? You see what has happened? That is looking at you what she's done! Woo! Helen! Helen went and fought as in a marriage! It's a lie! I hope that's what happened. I like that girl. What do you mean it's a lie? Think I'm lying? What? Did you see her doing it? That girl is lying in hospital! We have a face but And you're telling me that I'm lying! Which hospital is she at the in? She's in St. Anne's Hospital. Look, you see what you've done? I hope you're happy. You and Dad, I hope you're happy. Because if anything happens to that girl, I'm going to kill Helen! I'm in now! I'm doing this now. Mom, I have to go see her. Are you coming? But for me, I'll go with you. Take a heart, my dear. Do not cry. I'm really fine, okay? You should be. You're not empty. Dry all your tears. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Are you okay? How is Obina? He's fine. We are very sorry for what happened to you. Obina told us. Well, it is not our fault. One, Obina is no more in the house. He is nowhere to be found. I'm so confused now that um, his father is threatening to uh, disown him. All because of you. And this is really tearing my family apart. Mom! Yes. Now, young lady, I've come to compensate you, to give you money. One, for being attacked because of Obina. Two, for you to leave my son alone so that we can live like... I think you should understand that no amount of your money can cover for her emotions. You rich people don't have manners. Now please leave with your money. Mom, yes. Mom, did you come for this? Is she not poor? Listen, madam. What? Your son and I feel for each other is true love. I'm not after your money. Not I'm after your materialistic possession. I love Obina and that's all, okay? Look, madam, thank you for your offer, but we're not collecting it. Now please leave because her uncle is very fiery and he will disrespect you when he meets you here. Thank you. I think you have to rethink your decision over. There's nothing to rethink. Opportunity come at once. Indeed. Please go. Okay. Would you? Lily, I'm sorry for all. Please don't. 
Sorry. I have to go now, okay? Bye. So Obina can do this to my daughter. After all I told the father, I'm going to deal with him. I will deal with him. What? Uh, Chief, uh, I don't understand what you mean. Obina has the guts to come and beat my daughter in my own house? After telling you to tell him not to hurt my daughter. Is he insane? Uh, Chief, I apologize on his behalf. There's no apology that will make me forgive anybody that hurts my beloved daughter. Yes! No, 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 Chief. It's not what you think. Listen, Obina has abandoned his home, his office, since I threatened to disown him. I, look, as I time I finish with him, Uh, Chief! Chief! Woman, what food have you been feeding your son with lately? Same food I've been serving everybody. I don't think so. Yes, I don't think so. Listen, if you don't convince that your son to rescind his decision, just be prepared to pack your things and join him in exile. Me too, Dad. No, it has not gotten to that. I want to see her in the hospital, even to offer a compensation money, but she refused. And don't you think Chief Mumbai is taking this thing too far? Because he's among the kingmaker and the party. And Obina may be right after all. What? Is that what you're saying? Just look at it this way. Look at the situation. By next year, I become the governor. And you become the first lady. So you want that son of yours to throw away this dream? Dad! Yes! I see it as a selfish tendency. Come to think of it. When you wanted to marry mom, did anybody stand between your way? Ah! Chief. Chief. Mom. I'm leaving as well. No, come back. So I don't know why. It's right Hey, handbag. What are you doing here? What are you carrying a big suitcase for? What's up, girl? Got to leave the house. Dad has really gone out of his mind. Him and Mom are always having this fierce quarrel. He threatened to send Mom packing, and when I protested, he slapped me. That hit you? Michelle, what can you beat? This man's never done it like that. Christ, the hell is happening? See, I... I think... I think this, this love and relationship thing is, is tearing your family apart. It's already torn apart. Dad doesn't want to listen to anyone. All he dreams about is one day he'll become a governor. There's a selfish interest, for God's sake. All these politicians, huh? See, Obi, you know what I think? I think, I think you and you should just go back home to your parents and talk some sense into them. I mean, they're human beings. They should reason with you. You can't allow this to go on like this. Reason? What are you saying, Jago? Look, a man that degenerates to the point of hitting his own daughter, threatens to kick his wife out, and disowns his son is reasonable. When I say that is way out of redemption, now, come on, the man has gone crazy. I ain't playing that. Hey, how about his um, great friendship? How, how has he taken all this? He calls several times. Please, okay, Auntie, please. You've got to help me. 
Look, I went to the hospital and none of the nurses had the uncle's address. They told me she's been discharged. Look, don't bother going there. Her uncle is very hot-tempered. He might shoot you. Look, I, I, I don't care. Look at me. Do I look like I give a damn, Auntie? Please, I'm ready to take the risk. You've got to help me. Okay. The address is number 30, Muroniwo Aguda. I know the place. I know Number the street. 30, Nuroni. I know the street. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Yes, Sweezy. Uh, hey, Mary, it, it's me, Obi. I need, I, I need to talk to you. Can I talk to you, Mary, please? Please? You see, I've just concluded plans to take handbag you and me back to the States. Look, it's a place I'm conversing with and I know you're going to be just fine. Okay, if everything will work out just smooth. Just trust me. Listen, Obina. I came for you to take some pictures, some photograph pictures, and, and that's all I need and all the plans will be on ground, okay? It's over between us. And let's just assume we never met each other. I need my safety and it matters to me a lot, okay? Well, look, don't be like that, okay? You don't have to be cold to me. Look, I, I, I know I know where you're coming from. I can appreciate that, okay? It's it's Helen, right? Look, I, I'm happy to tell you Helen is not in our lives anymore. That's right, girl. I've taken care of, of that. I, I told them not to many words that look, she she should she should just stay the hell away and and I, I know she got the maze she, she knows I can act crazy too, okay? Look girl, it's it's all over. I just need you to understand what is happening, alright? Just come with me. Come with me, I'll make you happy. They, they even Mary! Shit, uncle. your uncle's coming. Shit. You! AK! Good evening, sir. This time in my house! You have the infantry to enter into my house! So, so look, I have some logical explanation as to what's going on. Logical! Yes. Just wait for me! Don't go about this way. Just give me a minute to explain what's going uh, Yes, I'll give you an hour. Just wait for me. If there's anything you will do to show little respect to my uncle now, is to please leave, okay? Look, I need to explain to the man. Look, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him, okay? Look, babe, I, I, know, I know. But let me talk to him. I know what I'm doing. Look, it's the only chance I have to explain this thing. The girl in question had a face surgery and she looks even better. Um, so what do we do? Well, I guess the bitch is better off dead. Yeah, dead. Dead. Ever killed before? Enough, that yeah, we, 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 we are killers, you know. We are killers, we are serial killers. We are both killers, but we killers. How much will killers. it cost? Well, it's just a hundred grand, no more, no, no less. less, no less. Change. Anyway, 50 now and 50 when the job is done. <laughs> Don't fuck me up, man. Fuck you up! Hey, she's dead! She consider your job done. No second chances. Second chances? Natural bone killers, man! We should have killers, 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 man! <laughs> so good. Yeah, tell me about it. it. Yes. <laughs> you ask me where's Uju? 
I said, where is the Jew woman? Look, I found this in her room. She has moved all her things out. What? What is the genesis of all this revolution, woman? What are you trying to do with your children? What am I trying to do with my children? Yes! What are you trying to do with your own children? Look at you! You want to govern your own state. You can't even govern your own home front. What do you mean by that, Emilia? You agreed to it, woman. If I asked you to, to put your hand to the fire, will you do it? When Obina says no, why didn't you put his opinion to consideration? Just look at you. Look at who? Look at yourself! Emilia. Yes? I'm surprised, Emilia. Emilia, what are you doing? Yes? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yes, Chief Ojimba here. Uh, uh, listen, 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 Chief. I cannot understand what actually your daughter wants. How can she go and organize with some boys to pour acid on that innocent girl? When a girl loves a man, she can do anything. Uh, Chief, to be honest with you, this proposal is tearing my family apart. Yes! Oh, even politicians have gotten their homes broken too. I'm not one of such politicians. I'm not. Chief, please do me a favor. Gently persuade your daughter to forget Obina. Yes. She doesn't deserve all this pressure I'm facing now right in my house. Chief Ojemba, my daughter is no longer interested in your son. Yes? Yeah, she'll be, she'll be back to New York by next weekend. Can you imagine the humiliation Chief Ojimba is giving to me? Ellen, you'll be leaving for New York by this weekend. Is that okay? No, Daddy, I can't. I have things to do by the weekend. Listen, my dear. You have to go back to New York, okay? I'm sure there's somebody out there who will value you. That boy isn't worth the problems. Okay? You know you're a very beautiful girl. Tell him never to call this house again. Uh, not my children. Let me rest first. What? We are going to look for them now. Give me a break, woman. Give me a break? If you don't look for my children, I have to roll. I'm telling you. Well, if I don't have Obin, that girl won't have him either. Ellen, like it or not, you are leaving for New York this weekend. Period. I'm sure you meet some guys out there who will, who will take you for what you are. Okay? Don't worry. Forget about him. He's not worth the problems at all. Before this girl, like, I'm there. The heat are you? Why you shaking me up now? Lucky to God, we saw her fine, fine. Had a very perfect aim, my aim, and I was about pulling Make the trigger. Sure you the fuck up and hand me my dough. Now, Helen, you just have to be patient with us. Give us some more time. <laughs> Give us some more time. Time, time, we'll time. Get her. Mojo says you guys are supposed to be the best on campus. We are still the best. Man, you guys are a bunch of gigs. I mean, because you can't even kill a single girl? What? See, we'll go back there later in the day today. And this time, she's dead. We we'll promise. I'm going to finish that girl. I'll finish that bitch. Ayo, hey, I don't want promises, okay? I just want the job done. Fine. You can't do it. You hand me my dough and I find somebody more competent for the job, isn't it? 
We assured you this time around, she's dead. Final. She's finished. I'll kill that girl. I'll kill that girl. Just give me. Just give us some few hours. Geeks. Whatever. Helen, remember all the guy you're back. Anytime. Okay, you know what? Just give me a couple of weeks. If I can patch it up on mom will and dad will, I'll take you and Mary back to the States. Oh, Bina, thank God you are here. There was a shootout yesterday and Mary has been arrested as a mother suspect. Right, what? Right, jump up. Jump up, 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 Mary's been arrested as a murder suspect. I, I, I don't know what for. We have to go to the station, okay? Where are my car keys, girl? Yeah, yeah. Jabba, what are you thinking about? Let's go. Uh, I don't know. Say this guy don't be cleaning up. <laughs> Better I thought you. Go and see who's inside. Uh, which way? Yes, sir. Officer, she is not a killer. All these things happened in front of my house. Please. Let me just see her, I beg you. Oh no, Mr. Coley, you cannot see a suspect held under police custody uh, in a scene of crime. Muscle, you have to give the policeman handling the case enough time to finish your investigation. Okay. Good day, sir. Officer, Good these are her friends. Good evening, yeah. officer. You are all welcome. Well done, and this is my sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you seen her? It has been very impossible to see her. Um, uncle. Um, with your permission, I would like to get my father involved in all this. Or at least he has the influence to make a difference. Well, you can go ahead and call. Officer? Who is your father, by the way? Uh, well, my father is Chief Ejuba. Chief Ejiba? Yes, sir. I'll go ahead, please. Okay, thank you. Hello? Chief Ojimba here. Um, I I'm at the police station right now. I have a little problem. Obina! 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 Hey, Obina! Mom, give the phone to Dad. Mom, please! Your daddy! Obina! Hey. See, your mother is here. Where are you? Please, we want you to come home this minute, son. No, no, it's about Mary. She's been held here for a crime she did not commit. She's innocent. Look, Dad, if I'm your son and you really love me, this is the time to show it. I need you. Don't cry, madam. Don't cry. I don't read all this in the statement right now. Better tell me to know. Before I post I say. Obuso. What's your name? My name is Mary Obuso. Speak louder now. It's the Ma Mary Obuso. Where are you living? 
Number 23 Fifth Avenue, Vestak. Where are you working? I'm a student and shop attendant. Want me to slap you? No, no, sir. I do know. See, I know that people kill your brother. You, you know they're among us. I don't know. Very good. Who are you? Is it you, know, officer? I put this aside now. Officer, please, I'm not Tell me true now. Is it you that I'm not here? Talk to you. Better tell me true now before I put this aside now. Hey, Chinese. Officer. Is it you that I'm not here? This one? Tell me what? I'm just criminal. There are three words that are the last This one, you want to see that? Last one. This one, you want to see that? I'm just going to see that. I'm just going to see that. I'm just going to They found the real criminal that shot the guy. Oh, no, Mary. More, more, more way that I can explain. No, 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 no. Mary, please come. Baby, come. please. Baby, come. Mary, please, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Mom, what's happening? What's happening? And what's, what's up? Your dad and myself, we have decided to accept your woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mom, I'm crazy about you! <laughs> Wait, it's not one of your pranks, right? I don't Declare my unflinching support for both of you. You can go ahead and marry no. Whoa! Thank you, thank you. And you will let's go. I want to Nobody's okay, above the law. Okay, okay, Get fine. The my, my father will pay you. He'll pay you whatever you need, okay? Madam, you know what? Let's be nobody's above the law. Understand? I want to be a little bit. I want to be a little bit. Fill the storm. Fill the storm. Fill the fire. Fill the fire. I am guilty Because I love you And I always want you with me If my mother disagree I will always love you 
If my father disowned me, I will still love you. Say I don't care what people of the world will say. Yeah, okay, but girl, I will love you ever die for my life. I want to be